Hello and welcome to our learning to cook pizza journey and today I'm cooking in the Unico de 12. I'm making a French pizza la dière. It's from the uni recipe from the provisions box I bought the other day. So let's go make it. Here it is, all made. Just checking the heat of the oven is pretty much perfect in there. And it's a very cold day, I think it's about two degrees centigrade. And now I'm going to see how it cooks. Now I'm expecting a very big fluffy crust. That's what I want. If I don't get a big fluffy crust, then I'm, I don't know. It's just, let's see how it goes. Let's put it in. She turned the flame down. I think I will a bit. Okay. Because I'm not quite sure how this um, dough will cook. In here, it's got quite a high hydration level. Oh, and that's why it's sticking to my peel. Right, I kind of saved that. It got stuck in there and I don't know how I did but I saved it somehow and I just couldn't turn it it's just stuck so anyway I did lose a, an olive in that process let's see how it is it's cooking very fast in here I think I'll just do a bit more on this side. Not too much though. And a little bit more there without burning it. And I need to do a little bit more there where I've lost those onions. <laughs> very quickly because this oven is ferocious even though it's cold outside done
can't wait to try this because I've never actually used this flower before. I was wondering how the crust was going to develop. It came out good. 18 hours proof time. Nice bubble on the crust there. This is a lovely pizza. So I'll explain the taste here, if you've never had anchovies on pizza, which isn't the thing you kind of do regularly, um, I don't know how many people like anchovies on pizza, the sweet hot honey, which has got a bit of a kick to it, that works really well with the salty anchovies, so you're getting salt and sweet at the same time, that's how I, that's what I'm getting in my taste buds anyway. And actually that's really nice to have salt and sweet together, and I think they offset one another. base. If you're not a fan of anchovies, I think there's enough sweetness in here to offset that taste, but I think you should give it a try anyway because it is so different and it's actually really, really lovely. You wouldn't think that the anchovies would go with honey, but it does. So it's worth giving this a try. It was really easy to do, just to boil up some of the ingredients together and you're good to go. wasn't sure how to do the crisscrossy thing on here either but kind of made, looked at the picture on the recipe. A very lovely flower. It's a uh, mm, really nice. So what's great about these recipes is that they bring like restaurant level flavour combinations to your home because I wouldn't have dreamed as I'm not a cook or a chef of ever bringing these ingredients together so it's nice to have these uh, ingredients and recipe ideas so you can do that. Mmm. So, that's crunchy. And you get a lovely caramelised crunchiness on the top of the pizza. So after all that, what I thought was all going to go wrong, losing some of my toppings in the oven, it came out lovely, tasted really good, and I'm very pleased. Very nice, give it a go if you've got these ingredients around. It is worth the go. Easy to do. I hope you enjoyed this vid. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.